My name is uh, Ken Bingham. I live in Ventura, California now, but I was brought up in Brockton, Mass. And I attended camp in the late 1950s and early 1960s. And I went on to become a part of the kitchen crew. The camp was rustic. The camp was rustic. No electricity, uh, no running water, no gas. So the, uh, the routines were work in the morning and chop wood, saw wood, get wood piled up near the stove in the kitchen for the cooks. Two-man hand pump, pump the garbage tank up to the pit up in the hill. Uh, peel potatoes, washing the canvas cots. We slept on canvas cots. They were two-by-four wood with canvas stretched across them. And they had some bedwetters, and that was always a privilege to be picked to clean the soiled canvas beds. We put them out in the lake, and so we'd get an extra swim in it while we're washing the canvas beds. There was no trouble at all falling asleep on the canvas cots. I didn't have much better at home, actually. Well, I had a mattress, but it was pretty bumpy and lumpy. And it was just a fantasy, you know, out there on that island. Treated nice, treated respectfully, learned from them. Living in a rustic camp at night, you know, the lanterns, they'd be pumped up with the Coleman fuel, Coleman lanterns. That's how we had light. So at the end of the day, we had a little prayer session, sang a hymn, and then all the counselors from Groton School, they'd line up. We'd line up, and we'd go through and shake everybody's hand and go to our canvas cot, go to sleep almost instantly. But Groton School was a lot better. I think it was because of the, the attention we were paid to by the staff. They gave us, uh, I guess they figured maybe they owed us because they were very, very patient, very good with us. The experience of living there I took to it just immediately, the whole thing.